So this tank, the corals are thriving, but so is the Aptasia. When your Aptasia is thriving, you've really got to take action to get rid of it. Otherwise it can take over the aquarium and start stinging all the corals. Um, one thing you can do is put a butterfly fish in there. A butterfly fish will, a uh, copper band butterfly, will eat, will eat the Aptasia. Um, this tank's got wrasse in it to control a lot of bristle worms that was in here. So you can't use peppermint shrimp because peppermint shrimp are very good for Aptasia as well. There are various products that you can try with fluctuant success, such as Aptasia X. And the other thing is we just get the rock, put it outside, let it dry out until the Aptasia dies. Systematically do that. But the other thing is hydrogen peroxide. You can do that as long as you don't have shrimp. So there's various options to get rid of Aptasia, but no action sometimes is not the best course. So rats are really good for controlling bristle worms, which was a problem in this tank. But when you've got rash, you can't put in peppermint shrimp. And peppermint shrimp are good for controlling Aptasia. The other thing is you can... Well, even here it looks like the cataphilia is getting, even getting stung by the Aptasia. Sometimes cataphilia beats Aptasia, but obviously not in this circumstance. Very interesting.